Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Crew Caf Cafe Organic Honduran Coffee Beans and these are new in Tesco these and quite expensive at £5.50 and um, you may hear me talking about how expensive these are um, during this review I think it's going to be the main talking point um, so on the top of the bag it says whole bean coffee um, ethical organic coffee and it's a medium roast single origin arabica and the taste notes are caramel roasted cashew and stone fruits um, soil association organic and fair trade coffee and the best before date is August 2019 so round about a year on the best before date on this one on the back of the pack it says each of our certified organic coffees tell an exciting story of small farms and steep mountainsides where sun, soil and shade come together to make a truly amazing cup of crew. Um, it says a bright single origin coffee, our Honduran bean is a beautiful example of the best this country has to offer. A smooth, full-bodied brew with sweet notes, perfect for any time of the day. And there it says it's suitable for espresso machine, cafetier, pour over, drip, aeropress or mocha pot. And it would be because it's been so it depends how you grind it. Um, so there we go, it says storage, once open store in an airtight container in a cool dry place. Ingredients are 100% Arabica coffee and there we go, there's the, the taste notes again, caramel, roasted cashew and stone fruits and that's it for the pack, just a plain design on each side. So, if we take a look at the beans, whoops, good nice quality beans um, quite an even even roast to these there are a few sort of darkish and a few light but the majority are all the same sort of roast and all the beans look like a good standard size as well there's not no like um small and large they're all very similar very uniform in size i'd say the aroma is fruity with an earthiness it's slightly nutty too um when ground the sweet caramel comes out and it also gains a sort of bitter bite um for some reason, it sort of reminded me of when I worked in a pub, um, bottling up um, when I was a kid, as the smell sort of reminds me of the pub cellar. Um, it's sort of like a stouty, bitter um, aroma with a winey sort of edge to it, with that fruitiness. But, as I say... Good quality. You can see round this side they're a little bit darker um, than some of the others. Quick look at the ground coffee. It's quite light, um, sort of orangey, orangey look to it. So, taste wise, it's got a sort of ashy earthiness about it but also a fruitiness that reminds me of sort of like jam on toast it's very like sort of toasty the taste of this one and um, it's definitely full bodied and very creamy and um, it's strong it's very strong as well um, and a single espresso is enough to make a sort of a very flavorful cup um, for me it's sweet with the caramel mentioned on the pack um, noticeable it's a nice coffee that's good to drink any time of the day, but the downside is the price. At £5.50, it's expensive 
for a supermarket coffee. And I'm sure I've had similar quality Honjoran coffees around the sort of £3, £3.50 mark. So unless you're sort of adamant you only want to buy organic coffee, I can't really see this selling very well at, at that price. It's good to see new brands on the supermarket shelves, but as I say, it's overpriced. It's a sort of three to four pound coffee, and I'd probably be raving about it at that price, but I'm not because it's just too expensive. So I'd advise to find a coffee roaster and spend that money with them and guarantee you're getting the freshest coffee because... This one could be on the shelf for a very long time before it gets purchased um, and could become quite stale, um, I would say, because like I say, on the super, when you buy coffee out the supermarket, you don't know how long that coffee has been on that shelf for. But, as I say, it's a nice coffee and it gets a 3.75 out of 5 um, from me. So... I'd like to hear from anyone um, who's tried this coffee. Let me know what your thoughts about the taste and um, quality-wise of the coffee, um, and what do you what do you think about the price of it? So let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.